Rajkumar Santosh makes bold. At a time when you make political cinema at the expense of your right to convey an idea, at a time when intolerance, intolerance of every hue and color runs amok in the market, at a time when great national leaders are scandalized and statues vandalized globally, some got some gumption that an extremely talented director like Rajkumar Santoshi returns with a brilliant film, Gandhi versus Gotse Ekyut. He takes both artistic and historic liberties in telling the story. For he's telling the story. For those who are willing to look at cinema from the citadel of art and imagination, to those who are willing to look at liberal space as a possibility, we will want conviction. Gandhi versus Gopse AQ comes as a bush of fresh air. Do I agree with it? Do I not agree with it? Not relevant. Is their credibility very high? <coughs> I must start off, however, telling you that to me, Gandhi is non negotiable as a political philosopher. I have extremely high regard for his contributions to patriotic India. Not that he has not made mistakes. What a leader. If Einstein said that a man like this with flesh and blood had walked across the sands of time, is something that generations to come will scarce believe, let's give Einstein his space. The United Nations said that humanity had lowered its flag of its death. Let's not poo poo these with the latest information and data that the WhatsApp generation of uh, research scholars provide for us. Now to the movie. Gandhi is on his way to the prayer meeting on that eventful. Jan 13, 1948, at Brilla House, and he shot. This is reality, stop. It is here that Rajkumar Santoshi takes a leap, fictional leap. He prepares a scenario where Gandhi does not die, he survives the assassination attempt. He goes under the scissor, comes alive, and insists on meeting Naturam Gotse. Naturam Gotse and he meet in the cell and Naturam Gotse is in no mood to discuss what he thinks genuinely as fake philosophy of the Bible and angrily rejects summarily any attempt on the part of the Mahatma for a time. Parallelly, Mahatma also talks to the powers that be, which include Acharya Kriplani, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, uh, Baba Ambedkar, and Siddhartha to Gandhi, to close up the Congress Party. Obviously, none of them would be true. So, Gandhi gives up politics, moves away to a bush in Bihar. Very symbolic. Don't forget that Gandhi's tryst with the freedom struggle in India started with the indigo plantations agitation in Bihar. So Gandhi goes to Bihar, starts a Swaraj, a Sindh government, a local government. Look and behold, the Nehruvian government is forced to charge Gandhi of sedition and conspiracy and is again put in jail in Sri Lanka. Gandhi agrees to go to jail and says, we will go back to the cell where nothing happens. Here begins a meaningful debate 
between Gotse in thought and Gandhi in philosophy. Starting from the commonality of the Bhagavad Gita between the two of them. What happens thereafter is what Gandhi versus Gotse in Kalpana is Watch it. Unfortunately, as I talk to you about it, the film must have been done and dusted in the theatres. I was surprised to see the turnout in the theatre when I went to see the movie and shocked at the cross reaction from the know nothings who we thought they knew all about the process. A distinct part of the earlier part of the film ridicules the Mahatma. So they are all very happy, the part of the audience who can whistle in darkness but not walk out on the streets for a protest. In the luxury of the darkness, in the precincts of the theatre, jingoism of a new variety is perpetuated. Till the debate takes a new turn and then there is stunning silence akin to a major batsman getting out at a crucial stage of a test match and then gets steady. Watch them. Follow them. This is the kind of stuff that we don't make in our country. This is a film. Whether you agree with Gandhi or you don't agree with Gandhi, whether you agree with the thought process that whatever is happening in the country today can be blamed on Nehru and Gandhi is not relevant for the purposes of cinema and art. Watch them. Let us look at the cast. You have Chinmay Manlekar playing Nathuram Gutse. I would believe that it is very consciously projected character of being a little theatric. It's not his fault, but he's very good. He carries that fire in the belly, which is so essential for a character to justify Nathuram Gutse. On the other hand, you have Deepa Kantani playing Gandhi brilliantly. <coughs> Minus all the scale, perhaps Antani gives his Mahatma just that much more than Kinsley gave his Gandhi. And certainly much more than what Anupa and K gave his Gandhi in the other film where K is. Very interesting take on the Gandhi Kut segment. You have uh, Pavan Chopra playing Nehru. You have Bhim, uh, Mukund Patak playing Bhimrao Ambedkar. You have Gansham Srivastava playing Patel. All in very interesting books. It's a short film. Runs for approximately one and a half hours or there it is. The debate is very interesting. Constructive. The film starts off with a statement that it is an unbiased film. But I think there is a certain natural bias in favor of the Mahatma. I very strongly recommend this Rajkumar Sandoshi film. From the maker, of Andal Zapna and Tamil. Here's a cinematic high. Gandhi, Gumse, Ekyu. A sign of acknowledgements to Abhinav and Good day for us.